What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Alistic here and today we are going to be going through some combat tips and tricks for you to master ultimate difficulty. If you do enjoy this video, do like and subscribe for more Cyberpunk 2077 and Spider-Man Miles Morales content. So generally speaking, combat in Spider-Man is actually quite free flow and flexible. So there's not really much but I do have some tips where it will really enhance your combat skills and it will really just make you kill enemies much faster. The very first thing is fighting in the air. There is actually a suit mod that allows you to gain more venom when you fight in the air and it actually is a lot more efficient. First reason, you don't have to worry about enemies that only focus on melee attacks. Only need to be focusing on those people with guns or ranged weapons. So try to keep the enemy in the air, you'll gain not only venom power but you can also synergize it with the venom smash which is L1, square and X so you press together and it is a really good synergy that will allow you to defeat enemies and gain venom as fast as possible. Second thing is picking your fights. The very first enemy that you should defeat are the snipers. The snipers are the ones that have very very unpredictable attack timings and they can hit a huge chunk of damage. So those are the enemies where you want to uh, kill first because they will be the most annoying. So just zip to them and kill them as fast as possible. The next few enemies should be your rocket launchers or if you are playing against rocks on enemies, there is an enemy that shoots out like a rope gadget where it will tie you up. Those are really annoying too. And basically, in general, target the ranged enemies first because they are just way more difficult to dodge as compared to the melee uh, melee enemies. So attack an enemy priorities, attack the ranged enemies first, then focus on the melee enemies. Use the gravity well gadget. This is a very very effective gadget and a really really good gadget to synergize with the venom smash or the venom jump or a lot of things. Okay, venom smash is probably the most effective because of its area of effect damage. If you do the venom jump, it's also really good because you deal bonus damage in the air and you get the additional venom power. But the gravity well is just really good to bringing as many enemies together and dealing as much damage to as many enemies as possible. Many people don't really use these gadgets because they think it's in limited quantity but these actually regenerate and you can regain it as you attack. So as long as you don't spam all 3 at once, you will have a constant stream as you will regain the gadget as you fight, as you play. Spamming dodge. If you ever are in a position where you're about to die or you're going to lose, you, you know, just spam circle. Spamming circle will allow you to get into sticky situations or just run away, you are Spider-Man, okay? You can escape and jump to some way, you know, far away and then go back to the combat or you can switch on camouflage to escape from the situation, regain your senses and prioritize the particular enemies. Once you do that, you'll be able to just clean house. Finally, is using takedowns. Takedowns are, you know, I funny thing is that many people actually forget that they have takedowns and they just focus on their venom powers. But remember, takedowns basically allows you to get a free kill on enemies and the two, you know, two bars of takedowns will be required for stronger enemies. But I think this is really important and make sure you know that you have it and save it for the enemies that really gives you a lot of problems. So normally I will save it for the ranged enemies to just get rid of those snipers as fast as possible or if they are gone, I'll just use it on the biggest enemies which is normally the shield guys with the big ass hammer. And yeah, that's kind of it for the combat. I think combat in Spider-Man Miles Morales is not that difficult. You can beast through it. But it's definitely things like those ranged enemies. If you don't know how to prioritize which enemies to you know kill first, and if you don't know how to synergize your venom power and your uh, get your gravity well, then it will be pretty difficult to try to beast it. You know, you will do it, but it will take a bit more time. And that is it for the combat tips for Spider-Man Miles Morales. Again, it's very flexible. You can pretty much do a lot of things, and you can. Choose your own fighting style and play style. You do have to realize that I never, I didn't even talk about web gadgets because you know, to me, the venom attacks are just way cooler. <laughs> but yes, if you do enjoy this video, do like and subscribe for more Spider-Man Miles Morales content. Stay safe, stay positive, and I'll see y'all next time.